Hey everybody, it's Janice with Creating Through Chaos. I'm going to start this project off with this mason jar that I got for a dollar at Goodwill. It was already painted, so it was a good base coat for me to paint on it now. So I'm going to do two coats of this almondine color. And I'm just using a really soft bristled brush so that I don't have any brush strokes. And I'm just going to go around the whole thing. And like I said, I did two, maybe three coats. And here it is when it's all dry. Next, I'm gonna take this piece of homespun and I'm gonna wrap this around the mouth of the jar. So we're actually gonna do this upside down. So I'm just gonna wrap it around and then I'm gonna tie it in a knot. As you can tell, we're making a snowman. So once I have that all wrapped around, I just tied it in a knot. I'm gonna take this sweater that I had. I got it at a thrift store for a dollar and I'm just gonna cut off the sleeve. And as you can see, I've already rolled up the cuff so I'm going to add that right to the top. I'm going to put this paper towel down so I don't scuff my paint on my desk. Something soft for him to sit on. I'm going to pull this right down over the top. Make sure that that cuff is still folded up. I'm going to add a tiny bit of glue to the back side. And then I am going to take a little bit of polyfill. And I ended up using too much, so I ended up taking some of it out. And once I had it the way that I wanted it, so I just kind of arranged how I wanted it. I took some of it out and left some in. And now I have it how I want it. At the top, I'm going to glue that front piece. And then I'm just going to take some twine and I'm going to tie off the top. So I'm going to go almost to the end and then I'm going to tie a piece of twine around and I'm just going to double knot it. make sure that it's nice and tight and then just cut off the excess so once i have that all tied i'm going to glue that right down to the side of his hat and get that glued into place make sure that it stays then i'm going to take my scissors and i'm going to cut around the end of this to kind of give it a pom-pom look and if you saw my snowman spoon that i made the other day i did the same thing so once I had that all cut, I'm going to trim off the excess. I didn't want it as long as it was. So I'm just going to trim that off and pick off the little hair that I had on there. And now he is ready for a face. So I'm going to take the back side of a paintbrush, and this is a large brush that so had a large end, and I'm going to put two dots for his eyes. And then I'm going to take some orange paint and a really fine liner brush and I'm going to do his nose. And you can do this however you want. You can draw it out with a pencil first. And I'm just gonna fill that in. As you can tell, I do around the edges first and then do the painting of the center. And now he has a little nose. Next, I'm gonna take a pouncer and I'm gonna dip that in some pink paint and then bounce off the extra and then give him some cute rosy cheeks. And that's perfect. And then I'm going to take another paintbrush at the end and just give him his dots for his mouth. I ended up doing five. And how stinking cute is he? Next, I am going to add two white dots for his eyes. And then I'm going to take another brush and add, give him two eyebrows. So I'm just going to do two small lines right above each eye. And I had some orange paint on that from the nose, so I had to wash that off before I dumped it into the black. And how cute, right? I absolutely love how he's turning out already. Next, I'm going to take some greenery picks that I had, and I'm just going to glue them on the top of his hat. So I just kind of grabbed a few Christmas picks that I had. I haven't pulled out all my Christmas stuff, so this is just kind of what I had lying around still. And I'm going to glue those right to the top of his hat. And then I'm going to glue this rusty star right on top of that. And glue that right there. Kind of give it a little tilt. And that'll help hold the greenery on also. Next, I'm going to take a rusty bell and a rusty safety pin. And I'm going to add that to his scarf. So I'm going to add that right on the knot. And just give that a quick push through. And then close up the safety pin. 
and how adorable is he already? Now it's all about the embellishments. So I'm going to take another small liner brush and I'm going to draw snowflakes randomly throughout the whole jar. And I don't want them right next to each other, so I'm going to kind of make them separated. Separated. And then here I'm adding them on either one of his cheeks. And I'm just doing crisscross lines. Nothing fancy, just an X and then another X. And I'm going to go all the way around the whole jar doing this. Even the back. Because this snowman is all about the little details. And then next I'm going to take this embossing tool that I got at Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to add some dots to some of the snowflakes on all the points. Let's kind of give them some texture. And like I said, we've all seen a snowman mason jars, but this one's gonna be all about the little details. That's gonna take it a step above the normal snowman painted on a mason jar. Next, I'm just gonna take that same embosser and just kind of add random dots of snow with the thicker end of it. And then I'm going to flip it around and do smaller dots with the other side of it. And this tool is at Dollar Tree, and I use it for so many things. And I think it's for embossing paper, but it works great for like things like this. And look how cute that is. Next, I'm going to take a stencil brush. I dipped it in some white paint, and I'm just going to kind of splatter some white all over his face. And how cute! Next, I'm gonna take this glitter snow and I'm just gonna kinda of add it to a whole bunch of different places. So I'm gonna add it right at the top of his hat, kinda of line the whole top, looks like he's got snowed on, add some to this rusty star, and just keep pouncing it on. And I just use a paintbrush to add this on, add some to this bell down here, to the end of the hat over here, put some right on that twine, right on the top of the hat. Just kind of go around adding it wherever you think you should add it. You can't really overdo it with this stuff. It's snow, so you want it to look like he got snowed on. Just keep adding it and look at, oh, it's so cute. And now I'm gonna take some glitter while that's still wet and just sprinkle it on. I think I got this glitter at Walmart. I'm gonna add a little bit more over here so I can add some more glitter to that. Just kind of go all around and that is it. He is all done. How so super cute did he turn out? And look at all these little details that just took him a step above just doing a normal mason jar snowman. I hope you enjoyed this project. Thank you for watching. I hope it inspires you to make one. And as always, don't forget to spread the chaos.